Pastor says this is a fitting time for self denial. Actually, as I even says, it is it is very good to give up one or two things, you know, so that you know we can enrich others with our poverty. Again, he makes an emphasis that real poverty is. So he has issues actually trusting a charity that costs nothing and does not end. I think it's, uh, it's you know, like we, we're very good. We're very good in denying ourselves this or that during this period. Such that you can't even feel it that you've given up something. Each and every time, wherever I've been, we always have to discuss what is it that you give up. And of course, a few things that will be mentioned, and I'm sure most of us wouldn't even feel it. We don't even feel the pain that we've, we've given up something. Maybe one day we need to start looking at what would really make us really feel that in that Lenten journey, something really, we gave up something that really we felt. Yeah? Like an allowance, for example. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that you can feel, you see already, eh? that can make you feel uncomfortable. It's a little allowance we can't touch. That is more. Yeah. One, four, four, three. <laughs> so the Pope is trying to say it's something that really we need to feel. And if you look at you, we normally read this, you know, the background of this was that there was an invasion of locusts. And we know what locusts does to the plants. <coughs> and you know, people had become so comfortable in their world and they thought they could achieve it all without God's hand in it. And there is the locusts, they come, and you know, they say these when they come, within seconds, the maze can disappear. And that's how bad they can be. And the prophet there is trying to, you know, to, to make the people realize that they are lost it somewhere. So whenever we lose it, any I mentioned, whenever we go on the wrong path, we suffer in a way. There's nothing that we can do really without the grace of God. So there are consequences whenever we don't live up to our promises, up to our Christian values. If I should look at our second reading here, the theme Paul brings out here is be reconciled to God. Behold, now is the acceptable time. Paul had problems with the Corinthians. At first, they did not accept him because of the message that he brought. Then around, maybe, he tends to think that maybe it is the message that they're not really accepting and not the messenger himself. But in a way, if they are to reconcile with God equally, they also have to reconcile with the one who has brought the message. We see pastors, we see priests being rejected here and there. We see the message being denied by people. What can you say if you don't live according to what you preach? Eh? I can't preach about drunkardness if I'm a drunkard. Will you listen to me? Yeah, I can't preach, I can't talk of chastity, celibacy, if you know that I have a chain of women. Huh? <laughs> Let's go and spare the spade here. So there are things that we we need to live by. The values we need to carry. Come for prayers each and every day. Am I there for prayers myself? Huh? You're smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so Paul speaks of the issue that the message should, this is a message from God. It is not something that we make sad. So really, if we actually look at the message that is brought, is it not for our own good? The gospel speaks mostly of the, the very dimensions of plagues that we normally speak about. Prayer, arms giving, fasting, and there's a reward here. You know, don't do things for a show. Don't be the earliest in the chapel so that you can keep a clean record. <laughs> Your aim is just to keep a clean record. Don't give arms so that you know there's a there's a lady who bought you know 
nice shoes for a priest. He used to wear sandals that were really gone. And then parishioners on a Sunday, they said, Father looked nice today. And then she says, my son made a good choice. <laughs> you see that? Eh? And then everybody knows she's the one who bought shoes for father. <laughs> So at times when you even you see, at times even these mobile phones you carry around, boasting as though it's you who bought, at times you'll be embarrassed <laughs> by people who have not learned to keep it to themselves. You know, when you've done something, the whole world must not know that you've done it. When you do your fasting, let it be in private. Nobody should actually know you haven't prayed the rosary. Nobody should even know. Nobody should know that today you fasted. Don't look gloomy, upset, like most of you. <laughs> <laughs> Apply some Vaseline on <laughs> So these are key issues that if we look at it, it says there's a reward. Those that follow the wrong way, they will not be given this reward. And we know that the reward is to be in the presence of God. We know that this reward is actually to love as he loved us. So really, this is a very important time that all of us must utilize. When we talk of prayer, if you hear the voice of the Lord, had they not your hearts. We know that it's only prayer that really connects us to Him. Each and every morning I'm in the chapel, do I really pray? Or oh, again, I want to have a clean, a clean record. Eh? Whatever I'm doing, for those that may be in marriage, we speak of faithfulness. What is it that we will deny ourselves during this period? What is it that we can do? All of us, we know where our mistakes are. All of us, we know where our weaknesses are. People nowadays cannot easily get along. When the parishes where I go normally on Sunday, the last mass is always a debate. How can we balance Bemba Nyanja? We see all those are issues but people today, member songs were too much. No, no, there was no nyanja. You see, those are fights that are there. Those are debates that are here also. You're not just bothered by a soul. You're bothered by how long a, a homily is. How long is a long a, a, a party, monthly party? How many hours is it? The whole day. We spent hours watching soccer. But what is our mentality towards the word of God? It shouldn't be long because people will, they will lose track. They will not listen anymore. How come they, they are able to pay attention to secular things? Eh? Why? Why are we comfortable there for hours and hours and hear a preacher has to squeeze? See, already I'm trying to summarize it. <laughs> Somebody's already looking at a watch. <laughs> it shouldn't be that way. Let's give things of God value. Let's give things of God enough time. Let's not spend time in quarrels, in debate, like the Corinthians here. These are, all, all, all of these are our weaknesses. We speak of pride, jealousy. You know, all these are things that most of us may need to work on? Are we people that have accepted one another? Are we people that can get along with one another? You know, I was telling the Christians there, you know, when we're talking of a labor, you know, I gave a very good example, but even a poor person huh, can be a labor. You can come here and everybody has people, we see people getting their face, holding on to them. Somebody in a suit, well dressed, they wouldn't mind at all. But somebody dirty, they'll always give you a tag. I gave them a very good example. Us who grew up in Lusaka, we had classmates who wouldn't be allowed to go to Linda. Their parents, are you going to be safe in Linda? When they, when they are going to Kalundu, Chadli, they'll ask them, what time are you coming back? Eh? They're going in a place where the rich are. 
and they wouldn't question you. You see already how we, we look at one another. We've got these judgmental eyes. Before you know a person, you already judge them. At times we are comfortable with my own. You see it here in, in, in international places, brothers from one place, they're always together. Can't you interact? Can't you mix? Can't you learn the language? You should learn the language. You greet in our local language. You ask, how much is this? You learn a bit of where you are. In a way, you become comfortable where we are. What am I trying to say? All of us have weaknesses. As we begin this journey, let us look into our lives and then see where do I need to be free. May the good Lord give us the grace as we start our mental observance.